Given the enormity and the complexity of the challenges and problems that Lagos State faces, in your first 100 days, what would you consider to be the three immediate top priorities and challenges that Lagos State faces and which your administration will resolve to fix? Mr. Guadamasi, starting off with you. The first thing I'm going to be looking at very, very quickly is public sector pay. What we pay our civil servants and what we demand from them, there is a massive gulf between the and we need to bring them back together. Our civil servants are very disgracefully paid, and we want them to deliver a 21st century service to us in Lagos State. That's not going to happen at the sort of pay levels that we're offering them right now. So we're going to upgrade civil service pay very quickly. Secondly, we're going to be looking at traffic simultaneously at the same time. We're going to be looking at this traffic situation because we're spending too many man hours in traffic. An average of six hours every day, every Lagosian spends going from home to work and from work to home. That's got to stop. We're going to introduce high volume, high uh, speed passenger ferries that will also have roll on roll off facilities all across Lagos. And thirdly, we'll be looking at power because without power, we can do nothing. When God wanted to create the earth, he started with light. Let there be light. And light was, and then everything else came, you know, after. So we're going to put light in a minimum of eight local governments within 18 months as part of our Lagos Integrated Regeneration Plan, an emergency plan that we put together that will serve this administration going forward. Thank you. Mr. Sawalu. Thank you very much. In the first 100 days, I will tackle the traffic problem of Lagos frontally. I will need to bring about easy solutions. Out of the 62 traffic gridlocks that you have identified, some are low hanging that we can resolve within the first 60 days. Some are short to medium to long term. So within the first 60 days is to solve the ones that were low hanging, about 20 or 22 of them. Within the first 100 days, like you said, I will tackle the gridlock in Apapa. I will need to clear up all the traffic you know, and all the trailers on top of our papa, I will make sure that it's a nightmare and will not see that again. Within that same time, I will ensure that we engage the private sector. We have an international discourse where all of the stakeholders on the private sector, ensuring that the Lagos 21st century kicks off awareness, have an international discourse where we can set agenda for the next four years for us. Within that same space, I will bring about a town hall meeting to tell the public service that we have new ways that we will be engaging ourselves. Let us sit down and find out what are our issues. We are going to be making promises to Lagosia. Within that time frame, all of the issues that concern the public service, we will resolve it. Those four things we will critically resolve. And finally, I'll have the cabinet running within that first time. Yes. I think first and foremost, as governor, is to let Lagos know that there's a new sheriff in town, and that means that it's going to be different leadership, that we're going to bring character to leadership, that it's going to be leadership for the people and not for self. And that's something that's going to be important, and that means that you're going to carry everybody along to bring about best practices. And then we're looking at traffic. Uh, again, we must address traffic. That is very, very important at this point in time. Uh, traffic in terms of the immediate, of looking at our potholes that create so much unnecessary traffic. Looking even at our traffic lights. Uh, our traffic lights are working on the old system of every one minute, every 30 seconds. Uh, we must begin to bring technology even to traffic lights where they're using radar to know in which way traffic is heavy and not and is able to adjust accordingly. We're going to have to strengthen to get LASMA to work and work uh, uh, efficiently. Of course, waste becomes an issue. Again, we're talking of waste in terms of the three R's, in terms of recovery, in, ter in terms of recycling and reusing. Recovery, recover is the aspect where we have to get waste uh, from the point of, uh, uh, of use right down to, the, uh, to disposal. And of course, lastly, uh, will be power. We have to begin to have power in Lagos in a way that Lagosians will not have a problem with power. 
Thank you, Mr. Dagi. Mr. Salas, over to you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have a big problem to solve. Uh, this person that this patient has created. Uh, most importantly, uh, my first one week, I want to set up a ward executive council in every ward. Uh, we're going to appoint some special assistance into every ward, at least 50, because uh, those special assistants are going to be carrying out some duties of the governor. More importantly, I discovered in Lagos there has been a lot of violent brigades in every nooks and crannies in Lagos State. I want to clear all the violent brigades in Lagos State, and I know I'm going to do it. Uh, fortunately, the first time I didn't mention my qualification because of time. We all know about traffic. <laughs> uh, it can be very intimidating. So we all look at the traffic situation. Fine, we're going to look into it. But more importantly is these youths. I want to invest heavily on them, get them jobs. We want to do wealth creation at the grassroots. Very, very important. You know, and everybody in Lagos State is crying about it. But key thing, number one, that is militating against the development of this state, is the issue of our common wealth that is in the hand of an individual. And I'm very determined to take this common wealth and give it to the people of Lagos State. Thank you.